Hello everybody and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. We just hunted a wolf here on our way to the hunter. I think this is quite successful. Um, and it's also starting to rain a bit in that case. Um, I hope we do have some protection anywhere. No idea or if it's causing anything actually. Perhaps the water doesn't go down then. Oh, and there is someone. Hello, good sir. That's Sambor actually. I'm Razimir, Lorden's nephew. I heard you have concerns regarding the wolves. Lorden, a great man, and it's a shame that we lost him. If you were only half the man he was, you might be worth my time. So what is it? So what about the wolves? There are two packs that have grown big too fast. One has crossed the plains between Hornica and Gastovia. It is only a matter of time until they will be biting Unigo's rotten flesh. The other one is gathering around the lake in the south. I bet they will start coming to Denica soon. So shall we kill them? Killing a pack. You would need a large hunting party for that, and even then, we would lose a good of lot of men. No, but the villagers should be alerted and prepared. Alright, what? I have to go back now? I have to alert them. Alright, but I just killed one. I might kill others. Okay, so yeah, the quest was to run up here, talk with him, and now we have to run back again. I'm not happy with that. We'll see what he's got. He's got a stone knife here that we're going to pick up. And he doesn't see that, right? Nope. There's some leather. So I don't like this guy. What's he got in the chest? Nothing. He's poor. Not much we can do about that. But we got a knife at least that we can sell. There's an axe. I might go with the axe as well. Thank you. Thank you, good sir. The thing is, the tools I can take, the firewood would be would be deft, so I'm not doing that. There's more junk, St. John's word. So we're going with that. A bucket. No, no. Yeah, I think that's it. Alright, so so far, so good. I don't have to fight any wolves. I mean, if they're attacking me, then I will probably go with that. And now we have to go back to Gostovia. On our way back to the village, we are now passing by my own little settlement. Um, it's raining quite heavily at this point. I just want to check. So first of all, yeah, my campfire disappeared because of the rain, I guess. What we still have is the cauldron here. Now let's just have a look what we need for something to cook. Because when, I, when I'm in the village, I might just purchase a few things, right? We could go with a porridge. This would... I need oat grain. Oat grain or onions. Right, the berries that I have... I cannot do anything with them so far, what I can see. Okay, so oat or rye grain might be a good thing for some dishes that I can cook then as well. Because, of course, there are also skill points that I need to um, get up as well. To cook more or better stuff then as well. And also to build houses that are related to cooking. I think like the cookhouse. Can we build the cookhouse? I think there was something like that. Or the tavern. It's the tavern. We do have a tavern, that is pretty cool. I'm interested in what happens when you build a tavern, if there are some travelers coming along and stuff like that. But let's just go now back to the village. And there we are once again, let's talk with him. He was, I think, in this house there. Well, okay, so what, it, what, what did he say? Well, he's a loner lurking through the woods, but he knows the game around here. And he believes that both Gostovia and Danica have, will have to face wolf attacks soon. I was afraid it would be something like that. Oh, we do get something. We get some a hood and boots. Um, I was afraid it would be something like that. Well, here is your first reward. Courtesy of the last tax collection some were actually complied with. What will you do? I will take care of the defense here in Gostovia. But hey, I need you to make sure Danica is prepared too. Go there and convince Dagobert to build palisades. They will be ready for anything. Alright, so... We finished this one. We got some quest rewards for that. Let's just check it. Fur boots and fur hood. We don't have any of that yet. This gives us further cold protection. Protection. Very important for the coming winter. And as we can see, better than my current stuff. Plus the hood. I, I did not even have a hood yet. Had a hood yet. Right. So in this case here, as we can see, I think this is our protection there right now. No, it doesn't change. Okay. And we're 18, what I can see. Alright, so we need to get to Danica. Oh, that is far away. Danica is really far away. Is there a faster way of getting there? Perhaps we can travel? And I also wanted to talk with the villagers for some stuff. Oh, they're all married. Then let's just talk. 
This gives me some approval rating there. So this is really just grinding these points there. Sorry, my mind told me not to talk to strangers. Alright. Whatever, pal. Alright, I also found someone who actually sells me some rye grain here, wheat grain that we might need some flour for bread, perhaps some seeds. There was a quest where we would need some seeds as well. We could also just plant it ourselves in a field or something like that. But let's just purchase us some rye grain. Not much though. Or actually, it costs almost nothing from what I can see here right now. Oh, actually it cost me 100 gold. What? That bit? Okay. Okay, now we need to sell something again to get the money back. I do have some stone axes once again. That's a bit of money. Some stone knives here. Um, the fur boats are actually quite valuable. Look at that. The fur hood co uh, costs 100. Right, I think the stone axe I can still sell for something. Ripe berries. I have no use for them at the moment. So let's just sell all of them and we're back to over 100. But still, that was a bit expensive. Um, do you have any gossip for me? All right. She has with some approval ratings there. And this is something we need to grind to, just by the way, you know, um, in that case. Um, I'm creating a new settlement and looking for good people to join me. I've heard you're building your reputation up. Keep going and I might consider your proposition. Okay, we need a reputation of 50, so he might join us then um, in, a, in our village. So residents of your village, to encourage people into joining your village, you need to reach the right amount of dynasty reputation points. You can try to convince them by building houses for them and talking to free people in the area who may like to join. That's pretty cool. So they would then tend the animals, they go hunting for me, they would, um, you know, tend to the fields, stuff like that, and thus I can build up my own little settlement. But for now, we are all alone. Reputation is not good enough yet. And we are on our way now to Danica, which is probably going to take quite some time in this foggy, rainy weather that we have there. And after just a couple of minutes traveling, we now arrive in the village of Danica. We need to find Dagobert in the smaller town here. Oh, there's a chest just lying around here, but there's nothing in it. Let's just talk to some of them. Razimir, he's got the same name as I have, right? Am I not Razimir myself? Yes, he's got the same name. Do you have a minute? Do you have any hunting tips for us? No, he doesn't. All right. And I think over here we have now this Dagobert. There he is on the fields. Doing something, whatever. I'm no stranger anymore. I'm Razimir, nephew of Lorden, and I moved to this valley some time ago. Well, if you're really Lorden's nephew, you can't be too bad after all. Is there any proof for that? Or Jordan? Uh, a proof? Well, my, other mo my mother told me he had a scar on his left cheek and an awkward way to get on off on a horseback. Something with a childhood injury. Good enough for now. So what do you want? I was sent to alert you that wolves are gathering southeast of your home and it is only a matter of time before they get curious or hungry. You should build some palisades and arm your family. There hasn't been a wolf attack for many, many years. Too many people live here now and the wolves are retreating into the mountains. It is very unlikely they will come here. But not impossible. Sambor says he has seen a large pack coming closer and closer. Alright, I will take it more seriously, but I'm out of locks. If you can get me 40 locks, I will be build a palisade. That's a lot of work. And my wife will indulge you with the best our kitchen has to offer. Alright, you have my axe, so we continue with this quest. That is actually pretty cool, so we get follow-up quests right away. And in that case, it seems like a smaller storyline. We have to get the locks now. Um, and I think we also have earned their, their hospitality for now. So if I gather some locks, um, I can also sleep here and eat something. That might be good enough for me for this night. Um, we do need a stone axe once again, because we've sold the other one. As we know. And every time we craft something, we get some skill points there as well. I like that idea. Right, and then we just need to chop down some trees again. Actually, for 40 logs, we'll need quite a lot of these trees. I think 10 that we need to chop down now. And there's the first one. While chopping the trees, we got a new skill point and we can now build a resource deposit there as well. Very good. A new building. So... We're still collecting some skill points, unlocking new things as well. And as we can see, I'm still going ahead and chopping down the trees here. We already have 12 out of 40 logs. It's actually not that bad, so it takes a bit of time. But it's actually quite relaxing just doing that job here. 
And yeah, he will probably not have any trees around his field anymore, but that's probably also the idea. So I'm going back to him now. The weather is still not really getting better there. Oh, no, I did not want to attack him. Turn in the locks. So 16 out of 40, we still have a bit of work to do. And I hope not, not a wolf is attacking right now. Alright, took me quite some time. It's the middle of the night now. They're all gathering. That's pretty cool. They're all gathering by the fire. Just l sitting around and stuff like that. And we just turn in now the remaining logs. Oh, he's not interested in talking to me right now. Because it's probably too late at night. So where can I sleep, Dagobat? You told me I can enjoy the hospitality. Right? Oh, he's just walking away from me now. There must be a sleeping place somewhere. I guess I could just enter this house here. Yeah, and take this bed. No, I cannot take this bed. Alright, then I will have a different option. I can still craft my own little fireplace. Campfire, we do need some sticks. I think I dropped quite a lot of sticks there in the wood. Or we just take them like that. Oh, and we got a new survival skill there as well. I've got quite a lot of new skills now. Extraction as well, woodworking a bit more. Alright, and with this one I can then craft me a nice little campfire and hopefully can enjoy the night in there. Since Dagobert doesn't want to talk to me anymore, all of a sudden. Still need a few more sticks. Right, here I am all alone. He doesn't want to talk to me. He went sleeping actually and I cannot sleep anywhere there. So we just have to sleep by the campfire now. And there it is. Next day is upon us. Um, kind of like he lost two locks, it seems, Dagobert. So we have to give him some more locks that we still have. Hello, there's the rest of it. I bet, and you shall not regret that. Talk to Matilda. I smell something in the air. I hope it is what I'm thinking. My stomach is empty. My hands are hurting. What am I smelling? Talk to Matilda. Is Matilda smelling? We'll see about that. There she is. You must... N oh! We get a pottage. You must nearly be starved after all that hard work. Here, a hearty pottage. And, oh, a soup as well. That smells delicious. Well, it's a family secret. Thank you for the meal. And we should now be able to eat something. There's the pottage. And there's the soup. Right, and we are full again. Very good. Let's just see where Dagobert is now. Oh, Unighost. Okay, we finished here. So he will now be building the palisade. There are some logs. Look at that. I could have just brought him logs instead of chopping down everything. Let's also just check the skills because we got two skills there. Yep, in the attra in the extraction we got something. So here, um, we could now go with force of nature, 5% slower axe durability loss. Or we just go with extraction knowledge, which I think I will be. This one gives me plus one more skill point from attraction uh, extraction activity so it speeds up the whole process here and for hunting um, we could go with 10% um, more 10% more health in that case sensing mushrooms the better temperature is something that I'm really eager to go with but let's go with survival knowledge so we get more skill points whenever we level up in this tree here right that is something technology we also got something new um, the resource storage. Oh, I see. And we need to, we can't build it or we can now go with a shovel. So we could now go a uh, wooden tool for digging clay. Right? So this is something new. Alright, so a new day is upon us. Friendlier than the, yes, uh, friendly, friendlier than yesterday, I should say. And we need to go back now to Unigos. Unfortunately, there is no fast travel. I was, I was searching for this, but I cannot fast travel at all. Which is a bit disappointing, because the distances are quite far, as we can see, 900 meters. Oh, well, that's the choice of a medieval life. Let's go there. Okay, and we're back again. Um, I just got the message that I'm dirty. This will make me less likely or mes less, well, charismatic for other people. Unfortunately, I cannot use anything in this village here. This is depressing. Can I take something? I could steal if I wanted to. But let's go to Unighost. Well, they are prepared and safe now. A simple wooden palisade, I assume. Yes, and I think Dagobert is a man who is not afraid of wolves. Okay, where's my reward? 
Am I not getting a reward for this? He's got nothing to sell. Nope, I think that's it for now. Wait for further events on this quest. That's it. That is my whole reward for this whole endeavor there. I mean, I got some skill points as well, so it's not that bad. And we got a new building that we need to build. So a few new things, but still, I would I would have hoped for a bit more, right? We also got a bit of stuff for cooking, so we can cook a bit. And other than that, I still have to tend to my rabbit trap anyway, I think. Anything else that we got? So this is that. Um, complete some quest for neighbors. Oh, and one more. And successful flirting. So we also would need to flirt. Actually, then we should probably stay in the village real quick and try to flirt with somebody. Or there are quite a lot of gals in there. Perhaps some of them like me. I mean, I'm dirty right now. Hmm. It's probably not a good idea to flirt now with someone. I could buy a cow for 5,000. Oh, that's pretty cool. So we can uh, have our own cow sheds then. And I will probably need some people then as well, tending to these cows. How much is a goose? 2,000. Well, that's a bit expensive. I cannot wash myself. Depressing. Do you have a minute? How's the job? You're doing all right? Okay. Minus 10, she really doesn't like us, though she looks fine. Alright, those people don't like me. This is really uh, very luck-based, the whole thing, if I get some approval rating or not. There's a chest that I could rob, but there's nothing in it, as usual. No chest has something in it. So let's rather go back to the village, because I'm dirty, I can't wash myself. And, yeah, this day is coming to an end probably soon as well. Get back in our village. Let's just wash us real quick because we're dirty as hell. We just chopped down, I think, 15 trees and stuff like that and walked around kilometers. Washing ourselves feels good, certainly. Um, and in that case, we do have something new to build, right? We do have a new house. But the house though we do need still something. Woodshed, there it is. Nope, it's not this one. Storage, there it is. Resource storage. We need 10 locks for this. Right, so for a new building that we can have. Um, and I would really like to keep the trees here close to my house. There's the trap. As expected, we also have some rabbit in here again. Oh, and the trap is gone as well. For the rabbit, a bit more sticks, right? That's fine that we get this from the logs over the chopping down the trees there anyway. There we have something. Right, that's one. He doesn't really like to fall there. Let's chop down another one. So those two should be fine. As we can see now, they're going down, both of them. Got some sticks out of it. The logs that we need. Quite a lot of logs. Probably will be too carrying too much again, but we can now craft our f f trap for that, the rabbit trap. And then we place it once again outside here. Very good. And perhaps, wait a second, how many logs do we have now? Oh, we need two more logs. The workshop is something we already have. I think there's nothing else here. The survival skill here, hunting lodge, I'm really eager to build this one. But it's taking time. The field. Alright, there was also something for cooking, right? But let's just go with that. And there we have it. A new building. As we can see, it's pretty big. So I, I guess this takes me quite some time here to finish the whole thing. Um, this will be our resource deposit, and what I what I can see already is we could probably have some horses here then as well, um, and some animals in this. Is it a barn? No, it's a storage building, but still quite big as we can see. So this will be a third building to a little village, um, and what I already know is that we will probably have to build a, another house for us, or for someone else then, because without a house no one would like to join us, of course, because they can't sleep anywhere. So we do need another house that we can build then, probably just beside our own. And 
they will then be able, then someone would be able to move in there and work for us, perhaps tending the fields or go hunting. Go hunting would be amazing if that would be someone who could do that for us, right? Um, those are the things that we need to do still that I need to prepare. And we'll see each other then in the next episode once everything is finished. Stay tuned.